Welcome to Matrix Videos. This very brief video will show you how to edit your saved searches and auto emails. We will be removing area numbers from the system and some of your saved searches will contain these area numbers. So we will show you today how you can remove those using either zip codes or drawing shapes on the map. First of all, my name is Kathy. I go by Red. This is my email address. And Tom Baudet is our new employee that replaced Benita Wilson, who retired after 31 years of service to realtors. You can reach us at this phone number. We are in the association building from 8 to 5 over on Rainbow and Sunset. Matrix is located on the internet. So wherever you have access to the internet, you have access to Matrix. Mm -hmm. I will be using Google Chrome. This is a picture of Las Vegas. This is an aerial view of a certain part of Las Vegas. And if you can guess it, you get points. Notice I do not store my username and password into my browser because I, I type it each and every time. I believe that's bad computer hygiene to keep your username and password in your browser. So I log on with my user ID and password. This is your single sign-in page. We will go directly to Matrix. By the way, stop and take a look at your single sign-in page. I find that a lot of the agents that are out there practicing real estate have tunnel vision. They just, they, or horse blinders, they just see what's directly in front of them. Read your messages of the day so you know what's going on. All right, so you have area numbers in your saved searches. How do you remedy that? Yeah, I mean, you can keep them there. Just know that no new listings will come up because new listings added after October 5th will have no area numbers in them. So your save searches and auto emails will stop working. My Matrix is where you find your auto emails and your save searches. I'm going to start with saved searches. Now, with save searches, first of all, you, have, you may have a lot of them because a lot agents just save searches and they store up. There's no really no limit to how many searches you can have, but how many are you actually going to use? Sort by my last run, and you might see that you have some saved searches that you haven't looked at since 2016. All right? These came, may have come over from our last system, Fusion, or have come over from the system before that. If your saved searches say imported, they came over from the old system, right? And those are stale. Um, yes, you can edit them, but when you pop them open, take a look, and, and if you see latitude and longitude, that means that you drew a shape on the map and you really don't need to update that. But what you wanna look at is you wanna make sure that the search doesn't have area numbers in there. And if it does, then you have to go into the criteria and edit it. All right, let me show you a screenshot. This is of somebody who really is a member, and this is what it looks like. So literally, they're carrying saved searches. It says imported, so they came from an older system from 2003 um, that's kind of a long time so um, go in and check the ones you don't want and hit delete all right so make sure that your any searches that you haven't run in decades are no longer active um, so you pop open the arrow on the left take a look in there at your criteria if you need to edit the criteria for any reason removing areas for example go into criteria now in this case it says map area selected so I can draw another shape 
with the map or I can clear my map and go in and do zip codes. I find zip codes very interesting because they are very accurate. They are very accurate because they are brought in from the public records and the public records are fairly accurate. So I can add the zip codes and separate them with a comma and hit save. So I have just updated this Canyon Gate saved search. I suppose it would help if I put the zip code in for, um, for where Canyon Gate really is. Um, I don't know that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. All right. So update your search. I drew a shape. Let's actually go to criteria and let's look at the map shape. You know, I'm sure at one point in time I knew where Canyon Gate was. I don't anymore. Uh, the shape I drew at one point in time, and I'm assuming it's accurate. Maybe somebody was looking over my shoulder, or I may have had somebody in the computer lab and I was drawing a shape with them. So make any changes you need to do and hit save. Now, at this point, I can keep the same name, same client, and hit save. I literally do not have any searches that have areas. I, have, I stopped using areas about five or six years ago. Um, uh, here's what it looks like if you do have one, if you have area number. It says area number in this list. Click here to view. Well, you used to do 101-606. That represents Las Vegas, North Las Vegas and Henderson. But if I go into criteria and clear, may I suggest something else? If you do want to do quote 101-606, May I suggest that you add the field, additional fields, city and town? Because 101-606 represents Henderson, Las Vegas, I'm going to hold down control while we click, and North Las Vegas. That's how you can do the entire valley, minus Boulder City, minus Perump, minus the mountain. And I hit save. So now my saved search no longer has area numbers. And this was something I was doing for David Brownell, who was formerly your MLS chair back in, I think, 2017. And then I hit save. So now that's a, that's a good search, meaning it's a valid search. I can still run it. If I want to run it, I just click on results. And these are the statistics, whatever they were at the time, and I can look back down on the bottom, everything that sold in January of 2017 in Henderson, Las Vegas, and North Las Vegas. And that's an updated search without area numbers. Now the searches pretty much are stagnant. When you look at your saved searches, they don't run unless you specifically run them, okay? Like I have a search that's 55 plus. Um, in order for me to see the criteria, I have to open the arrow on the left, this arrow right here, pop it open. Um, I didn't put a an area, so this is the whole valley. So I could edit it by clicking on criteria. I could take a look at the results, which would be from today's results. And there's a separate field we have called age-restricted community. It's a yes-no field. And some of you m who have been around a while might still be using association community features, age-restricted. So if I actually go to results, it'll give me listings from today that are in age-restricted communities. So I've got 89 of them. So I, you can run save searches for a long time, as long as they're somewhat current, and this includes coming soon listings, in case I forgot what my criteria was. But let's talk about auto emails, the DRIP system. My Matrix 
auto emails. Now, at first glance, anything that's read is somebody that, uh, that opted out of your emails, and they, ca they can opt back in. That's under help. Or something you've disabled, or maybe the system disabled it. Why would the system disable it? If there's no matches in a particular area for a certain period of time, you'll get a notice that says uh, your search is being disabled because there are no matches. And if somebody hasn't looked at your auto emails, the green is a circle rather than a check. Okay, so I have, you know what, in none of these do I have areas. Yeah, I have, none of these have areas. Um, and I tend to do them by subdivision or part of town, like I have Pinto Campbell near Our Lady of Las Vegas, Scotch 80s. Uh, properties that have the word she shed in the public remarks. I have properties man cave in public remarks because either of those words in of themselves are somewhat sexist uh, but having both is appropriate so uh, most of my searches do not have area numbers but if in fact yours do you wanna pop open the arrow go to criteria remove area numbers put zip codes or draw a shape on the map and hit save. Now with auto emails, when you resave them, they do go back out to the customer. So if I've had long running, I've had these three, Spanish Trail, Queens Ridge, and Siena. I've had these running since, since we've had auto emails in like 2003, 2004. ML Exchange, then Fusion, now Matrix. So when I edit any of these, and I used a shape here. Latitude and longitude lets you know you used your shape. And if I want to edit that, I go to criteria and change it. It's going to resend out the client portal to my contact here. So just know that that will happen. So maybe people that you've forgotten about or you've forgotten about you is a way that you can get them to trigger their memory that you in fact do have a safe search. Now, I have a fella on here that hasn't looked at it yet because the green is an open circle. I can resend him the welcome if I want to. You can resend the welcome one time on your auto emails. And because you have buyers or you're a great buyer's agent, you are going to have auto emails. So you need to edit those emails to remove area numbers. Another thing I've seen, I've seen a lot of folks that have auto emails from the old system and it has a field called do not use. So if you pop open your arrow and you see do not use, you shouldn't be using that, okay? And we tried to get that message to you back in 2016 when we changed from Fusion to Matrix. Now, if you have any questions, you may contact either Tom or myself at this email slash phone number. We're back in the office. We're here every day, Monday through Friday. We've also reinstated our computer labs where you can walk in and get help Monday or Friday, 9 to 11, 1 to 3. 1 to 3. Thank you for listening.